We're headed to Oxford today and it sounded like a great idea until we had to get up early, but we've already made it to the tube station. So we're going to take the tube to Paddington and hop on the train. We are at Paddington train station and we got here in plenty of time, but we couldn't find our platform number. I, I started to say gate. I'm like, that's not right. And uh, we couldn't find our platform number. So I asked somebody and they said, oh, it's not here. And I thought they meant I'm at the wrong station. I'm like, oh no. And they're like, no, 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 it's here. It's, it just hasn't arrived yet. So I was like, whoo. <laughs> so now we're just waiting for a platform and we'll be on our way to Oxford. I did find out that when I was looking at the screen, I need to look for Hereford, not Oxford. It's the Hereford station. <laughs> our train has arrived. to Oxford. It was a very nice train ride. Boy, that train was fast. I thought at one point it was going to take flight. It was just flying through the countryside. We um, are headed to the Oxford Castle and Prison. We have a scheduled tour in about 20 minutes, so hopefully we make it in time. some stairs. We have a whole lot more to go. Fifteen miles in every direction. Useful views for us, but back in the day this tower was used for defense. You'd be able to see your enemies coming from around 15 miles away, quite a tactical advantage. But uh, many things about this were built with defense in mind, particularly the windows. You can see their distinctive cross shape. That's so you could fire your longbow and your crossbow. This one over here has been restored, the rest of them have been allowed to decay naturally. at the command of Robert Doyley, and that's because he had a nightmare. Initially, he wasn't all that much of a religious man. <laughs> there you go. And you're there till the end of the tour. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be in a very public place. People would be able to come along and uh, throw whatever they say wished at you. Whether that be rotting animals. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dead, well... Rotting rob rot dead animals, rotting fruit and vegetables, or at the end of the day, their toilet bucket oh, right wow. the way over your head. Prisons have been privatised. Our prison here is no longer owned and run by the state, but instead owned and run by Christchurch. They run it for profit and to the detriment of the poor, and if you were poor, you'd be in an overcrowded cell with only scraps to eat. 
But if you're rich, you can live a life of almost luxury here in prison, which is exactly what Mary Blandy could afford to do. She came from a well-respected family in society. Her father was well-known and well-liked in the community. So it was a real shame. And there was something so deeply wrong with Mary. You must all be shocked. She was almost 30 and she was unmarried. Oh, <gasps> well, the guard was still in the centre there and where all the cells would have been. You'd usually have the cell to yourself. But if you were so unfortunate as to have lost your house on the outside, your entire family would come in here with you. And this was a fantastic tour. We had Emily as our tour guide. She was wonderful. Wonderful. So, yeah, if you're in Oxford, definitely do this tour. So this is a hotel that used to be part of the prison. And when you sleep in the rooms, you are actually sleeping in a prison cell. So I didn't film that whole tour because you really need to go and see it. It was fantastic. It truly was. So it has been rumored that President Clinton spent some time over here.
be able to sit on those just for undeserved tape. Hello, it's Gemma from the So we walked all the way to Turf Tavern, we got a table, we looked at the menu, found out what we wanted to order. I walked down to the correct bar and stood in line to order. And when I got up there, they were out of almost all the food. So, <laughs> let me show you where we went. Popeyes, baby. So now the question is, will this Popeyes taste any different than the one that we go to in Tucson, Arizona? Well, by the looks of what's in front of me, I gobbled all my food down because I was hungry. But did it taste like back in America? No. It didn't have any spice to it. weather in London and today when we came to Oxford it's the very first day that I really wish I had worn my heavy coat it's very nippy here today I don't know if Oxford is colder than London in general or if we're just having a chilly day our day trip to Oxford and we are absolutely exhausted. We walked down to an Italian restaurant here on Brick Lane. Uh, what's it called? Fresco La Cucina. And um, I just got some lasagna and my son got chicken and potatoes and my daughter doesn't feel like eating. I'm ready to call it a day. I am so tired but we had a lot of fun and I can't wait to have my dinner and then we'll walk back to our hotel and call it a night. This is my lasagna and Jaden got chicken and potatoes and then this just came out of the oven. It's really hot, so I'm gonna wait a minute. I made a valiant effort, but this thing was just way too big for me. I could not finish it. Today chewed me up and spit me out. I am so exhausted. I'm actually looking forward to sleeping in tomorrow. Um, my favorite part about today had to have been the tour at um, Oxford. Uh, what was it called? The prison. Oxford Castle in prison. <laughs> My brain's not functioning. I'm so sleepy right now. That was a fantastic tour. I really enjoyed that. So I am going to let you go for tonight, but we have one more full day ahead of us and then a half day, and then I am headed back to Arizona. But we have a lot going on tomorrow, so it'll be great. 
I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I did find out that when I was looking at the screen, I need to look for Hereford or Hereford, something like that. Not Oxford. It's the Hereford, Hereford station. <laughs> I'm running out of time. Go, Mom, go, go, go. London suits me.